Oh my god. Jesus. Oh lord. Guys, I think my hair is done. I think I'm done. <laughs>
that holds a lot of your protein and so once you bleach your hair it's kind of like hard to go back to the original it's almost like you can't uh, because you stripped out that part already what you can do is you can condition it oil it, and different things to help it out adding products upon the hair to help it give it that original feel to it in a way so if you guys have a really dry hair you have to apply some kind of oil some kind of moisturizer so that your hair can bend and stuff like that and it doesn't break uh, my hair even from my scalp already produces so much oil and so I don't struggle with dry hair in general but of course on the parts that I've bleached it over five or six times I do struggle a little bit with that not a little bit but it's kind of getting worse and I mean we hit 30,000 subscribers and so every you know 10,000 mark that we have hit we have had a new hair so I don't know you guys had but I know I have had different hair so I had you know the half and half which I started my bleach my full bleach from actually let me take it back even to my tips being uh, dirty blonde so I started with that and I went to half and half and then I went to blue and then I went to silver and then I went to green so I forgot to count the tip half and half blue silver green so five times and during those process like for silver blonde I have to bleach it twice for uh, blue I had to bleach it twice also so there's a bunch of bunch of stuff I have to do it multiple times to, to get my hair to that blonde stage so that I can automatically dye or apply a dye and without bleaching your hair it's kind of hard to dye your hair unless you're using like a wax the one I use for my silver dye and during my silver dye time I had to dye it to, I had to bleach my hair twice for it to get to a place to where it's super 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 silver blonde so that I can go to silver and it didn't work out because silver that I bought wasn't seen at all after I applied it like you can't even tell so I had to buy a wax a silver wax and I came out pretty good I mean you can see right here but at the end of the day it's like what am I trying to do with the future of my dreadlocks that's where I'm at and that's what I want to talk about on the next video but for today's video I want to show you guys the break broken down part of my dreadlocks and I know that all this comes down to that, to this, what I'm saying right now. Right here, for example, you see that this hair has been stripped out. And it's because I kind of like start to pull on it. And it seems like it's easy for it to just pop out, pop open like a bunch of hair, just like that. Boom. And I don't even have to touch it a lot, to be honest with you. If I was like yanking it, that would be another thing. But I'm not even yanking it. I'm barely lightly pulling it and a bunch of hair falls out and I mean knowing that bleach will do that wasn't a hard thing for me to figure out from the beginning I think it was like I wanted to uh, I wanted to have a different look I didn't want to look like everybody else I'm sorry you guys those of you guys that hate when I bleach my hair but I don't want to look like everybody else I have a platform I have people that count on me on doing these things and not technically ruining my dreadlocks or not doing what I want to do but things that I want to do and things that they support if you're not one of them you know don't judge because there will come a time where I'll be naturally growing my hair but I won't talk about that for now I'm gonna just keep going to what I'm showing you guys so I just pulled another hair out over here and showed you guys this one won't pull because this is very well maintained you know the tips is not stripping out but for those ones that are stripping out are those the ones that look like this see what I mean and it's sad to see it really is like it's so easy to like what the heck that's kind of like I'm almost fed up with it cuz I don't know I find it everywhere I sleep at almost also and my wife is kind of like what is that now do we have a dog or something sure. <laughs> do you say that no. Okay, she doesn't say that. I just capped that. All right, let me get back to what I'm talking about. Let me show you another hair. But it does shed. It does shed places like a goddamn dog. So I'm wondering if dogs' hair is bleached really technically because they are. Most of them are white, you know, some of them are black. But you can't really tell a black animal can shed. Can you? Yeah, this is what I'm dealing with, guys. Oh, Lord. Look at this. And it's kind of like satisfying too sometimes to see it come out. But I shouldn't be satisfied. I should be against it. But it's that guilty pleasure like I talked about last video. And yeah, guys, don't judge me. What are your guys' thoughts and comments? What should I do with my hair? What do you think my hair is going to go towards the future? What do you think you're going to see? Uh, and then next video also, I'm going to update you guys on my second month journey of my undergrowth. But till next time, keep back to the verse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse. I'm out. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos, man. If you guys don't like my videos, please let me know in the comment. Don't dislike it. Just let me know why you don't like it. So I can comment back. And pow, pow, pow. You hit top. Just kidding. Love y'all.